if it's real But when I'm with you I feel A little closer to heaven And yes, you move me that much And I get from your touch A little closer to heaven Okay, this message is for Isabel. Hi Isabel, I hope you're very, very well. Um, so I'm going to just read your question before I put the timer on. So you had a question about uh, soul purpose and how best to take the next step on your journey. And there was another question that you were asking me about, which was about love. And I said that I was going to leave that one because I didn't want to go into too much detail. However, I've been told by my guides that the two issues are very closely connected. So what we're going to do is we are going to address them both. Um, in a way that's very respectful and honouring to you and of your, um, you know, things that you want to keep private and hopefully you will find this a good compromise in that respect because I don't feel that we can separate the two issues. So, um, the first thing that I received about this was that you have some beliefs that are telling you that you need to focus on one thing first and get that one sorted out because I feel as if there were restrictions in the past concerning a relationship. And I feel, I'm seeing that tarot card where the woman is, is bound up and she's blindfolded. I think it's the Eight of Swords and she can't um, move, doesn't know which way to go. And I feel as if you had a situation at some point that has made you feel now that in order to really fulfil yourself, you need to um, have a degree of freedom. And it's not a bad thing for you to have as a belief at the moment because your soul is asking for you to develop to your highest expression and um, before you actually get involved, if you like, because there are certain times when, because of where we are vibrating, we will attract an entanglement rather than a connection. And you are asking at the higher self level that you free yourself of all past restrictions and ideas and vibrations that have confounded you and confined you and bound you in the past. So there are a set of beliefs um, that are kind of, they seem negative, but they're actually serving a higher structure. So where you believe, oh, I can only, you know, unconsciously, of course, you believe I can only find that right connection when I fulfilled myself. That's actually not a bad belief for you to have at the moment. So when they say the highest expression of yourself, what they're saying is, there are, and this goes into the number that I was given because I was also given a number from the little book of daily guidance, which is 77, let's put the timer on. And I know that that is about waiting. It's about um, having to wait for things, but the waiting usually turns out to be a good thing because it's gonna, the journey that you're on now, you've set sail for a new course and it's like you need to sort of steer that ship under your own auspices, <laughs> you know, your own fortune, your own manifestations, your own intentions that you're putting out there, even though the path doesn't seem clear at the moment from the spirit perspective, it's very clear. And there is a degree of fulfillment that, of that path and of that purpose and intention that needs to take place before you, on all levels will say, okay, now I'm ready, now I'm ready. Okay, so please, you know, hang in there because a plan is waiting to unfold that's gonna be really beautiful, but it's a plan that needs to happen in, sorry to say it, a little bit of solitude and a little bit of inner searching. So I'm gonna read your message, which was the waiting game. There are great lessons to be learned in waiting. Sometimes things that seem stuck are stuck for a reason. Go with the flow and resist the temptation to push too hard. Breathe, meditate, release attachment and wait. All will become clear very soon, okay? So please take heart at that message because it was such a congruent set of things that came together. I was trying to do the washing. <laughs> 
and then they started speaking to me and gave me the number and said you know we're ready for you to start working now so basically I was having a bit of a meandering morning trying to get chores done and things like that I had all my equipment set up and I was sort of you know ready to go in a minute ready to go in a minute ready to go in a minute let me just do this let me just do that and it just came in this flurry of you know really good concise and clear response from spirit so um, I hope that you will find that comforting because on the horizon there is something very beautiful waiting for you but it will be the right sort of thing okay um, these two have just jumped out um, we've got the goddess of nature and the angel of joyfulness and the angel of joyfulness says something wondrous and magical is about to happen what did i just say so you know we're not looking that far into the future even okay and i want to say two years but i don't want you to be on the other side of the video going oh no two years is such a long time think back you know two years can be an incredibly long time when you're in the wrong attachment and yet it can be a blissfully quick time when you're fulfilled and you're evolving and you're excited about your path and you're just in the flow of the moment and knowing that good things are good things are happening now in the moment they're not coming they're not on the horizon they are now so in other words get into the joyful vibration and that feeling of joyful expectation and focus on what it is you're doing and what you're here to do which brings me to your question about that sole purpose. Also, I'll just have a quick look at this one, the goddess of nature. You reap what you sow. Your dream is coming to fruition. Okay, so, you know, your dream, and let's just say at the moment, your dream is to be really clear about your sole purpose, but actually that isn't your dream. You're already very clear about your sole purpose. You're just um, not sure that you can actually do it. <laughs> and when I say that, I get this really weird feeling in my tummy that's that fear feeling. It comes up quite a lot when I kind of, uh, you know, they give me these different feelings to, to let me know what's going on inside a person when those ideas are put on the table, if you like, when a particular idea is put on the table. And when I say Said that I really felt that there was a little sort of it's fear and it's excitement at the same time focus on the excitement aspect right they've just said stop don't give up so easily okay stay in there with what you're doing stay with it and um, you might have to get supportive measures involved so you know in other words it might not be the only thing that you do create a structure in your life that will support it okay and try I've just heard try not to be too closed-minded because when sometimes when you pinpoint your focus so strongly on that dream that goal that you want to the exclusion of all things it can be great to motivate you to work really hard to move towards it and to make it happen at the same time if that's all that you've got going on, sometimes the focus is too strong and it, I'm just seeing whoosh, I'm seeing, I'm just seeing books and papers flying across the table because of almost a, a psychokinetic energy of your, your wanting it so much that sometimes you can push it away. As somebody's just said, tell her to mellow out a little bit, please mellow out stay mellow okay if you need to get yourself you know an extra job or something like that so that you can stay mellow and and have other influences around you I'm hearing voices and chatter so something that keeps you in a social they want people around you they want excitement and buzzing and humming around you that inspires you that keeps you connected okay um, I hope that helps you as a clue. Now let's have a quick look at some other cards. Angel of Diet and Nutrition. Um, and I'm going to say past, present and future. Right, so this tells me that you've been doing some... I almost don't want to look at that one yet because it's just too much. It's really great. It's a great card to have there for the future influences. But I want to just look at these first. So what's brought you to where you are now? you've done some kind of cleansing some kind of changes in your diet you've been looking very carefully at what you put into your body and what you put into your mind and your heart so 
you are, let's just say, doing the work, as they say. You've been doing the work, and because of this, you've come up to a higher vibration in terms of what do I really want? You know, where am I really going? Who am I really? What's my expanded self attracting here? Who am I trying to be? Who have I come here to be? Rather than this smaller version that I was trying to fit myself into. So that's all great. And then you come to the place where it's like, well, what do I do with all this high frequency? How do I make sense of it on planet Earth in the 3D? Well, another thing that's happened is that you have become more compassionate. So, for example, if you were looking for something that would get you out, get you among people, give you more of a structure to your life, you might look at something that would enable you to be of service, um, but in a way that's more, uh, you know, structured and immediate. This isn't about starting and building a business. You can do that as well, but this is more about going to some kind of an organisation and um, looking for some kind of work there. Also, it's about self-compassion. Self-criticism self is diminishing your sense of self-worth. Right, so where you are now is also, um, you know, you need to really look into your heart. And this is where the deeper work needs to happen. You need to look into your heart and ask yourself, where am I being judgmental of myself for the decisions that I've made recently in particular is what I'm hearing. Where am I expecting too much of myself? Where am I, uh, you know, these judgments are misjudgments. When you judge yourself, it's usually a misjudgment, especially when you're so much working in the light and your intention is so much to, to do, to be of some service and to be your highest vibration. It's the self-judgment is not appropriate for you at this moment and your guides would like you to let it go and this is a part of this mellow, please ask her to mellow out. It's all right, it's all good, it's all working in divine timing. Now, your question I know is about soul purpose, all right? And so I think we've kind of answered that, okay? So keep putting pen to paper and that's just a metaphor. You might work with a laptop, but stick with it. Don't, you know, stop second guessing yourself, stop questioning yourself. When divine inspiration flows, it flows. And when you are in the moment, I'm being told, you are in absolute certainty. So keep doing what you love doing and let the vibration of that carry you forward. So you don't have to keep coming back and asking this question. But it doesn't mean that you don't have a day job as well, okay? So let's, but make it something that you love or that's in alignment with what, with who you are becoming. Because your final card moving forward is when you begin to relax a little bit more because you have a structure, because you're engaging with people more, because you feel you, yourself coming back to life again. And then when you're doing your the thing that you love, you're not worrying about all those other little details anymore. What's going to happen is you are going to emerge into the highest version of yourself. You've got the angel of emergence and it says, oops, it is time for the real you to emerge. So take whatever supportive measures you have to take at this point to allow that inspired, creative, wow, person, I was going to say genius, <laughs> Allow that genius to emerge. And by that I mean that spark of divinity within you that is yours and yours alone. Your purest and truest and most unique expression of our divine creator that walks on this earth in the form of you, your body, your being, your consciousness and your gift. Okay, my guide just said amen. Right, I hope that helps you, and um, good luck with everything. I will, sh I'm sure I will speak oh, to you soon. It's real, but when I'm with you, I feel a little closer to heaven. And yes, you move me that much, and I get from your touch a little closer to heaven.